Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Hope Renewed, and our scripture is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, where the Apostle Paul is giving feedback to the Thessalonian church. But now, Timothy has just returned, bringing us good news about your faith and love. He reports that you always remember our visit with joy and that you want to see us as much as we want to see you. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. It gives us new life to know that you're standing firm in the Lord. How we thank God for you. Because of you, we have great joy as we enter God's presence. Night and day, we pray earnestly for you, asking God to let us see you again to fill in the gaps in your faith. May God, our Father and Lord Jesus, bring us to you very soon. And may the Lord make your love for one another and for all people grow and overflow, just as our love for you overflows. May he, as a result, make your heart strong, blameless, and holy as you stand before God, our Father, when our Lord Jesus comes again with all his holy people. Amen. A friend who, with her husband, is facing a mountain of medical problems recently shared how, even though she and her husband have faith that is strong, there are valleys of fear the enemy throws in their way. I know how she feels, and so do you. We can say that without shame or embarrassment because one of the pillars of the New Testament fathers, Apostle Paul, shared the same, being, quote-unquote, greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering. That encouragement came as Timothy brought news of the Thessalonian believers' faith standing firm, which renewed his hopes for their strong witness. Paul said that good news was like new life. Paul's faith is unquestioned, yet the wear and tear of years on the road battling human and spiritual opposition do take their toll. The Apostle's reaction, having his hope renewed, led to an outburst of joy that he might soon see these dear friends and be able to contribute or fill in the gaps of their faith. In this we stand certain. Strong faith in Christ is what renews hope in hard times. And with hope renewed for the downtrodden, oppressed, and marginalized, the result is greater vision for a future of God's blessing. This is what the church stands for. Not building bigger sanctuaries, larger attendances, better programs, slicker organizations, The church stands for the hope of Christ in each of us, a testament to the marvelous grace extended to all who, though unworthy, are willing to bend a knee at the cross. It's the message of forgiveness and love, born in heaven, fleshed out on Calvary's hill, and celebrated with every breath in those who have received Christ. For you today... If you're facing trouble of any sort and any size, don't manage it by yourself. Just as my friend shared with her community, keep engaged with those of strong faith. It is there you will be in a perfect place to find your hope renewed. And with that hope renewed and shared to others, you just might start an explosion of faith. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.